Hey everyone, welcome back. So previously we were getting this issue when we were trying to execute the very basic Cypress script, okay, or the test case that we have the antivirus on the machine, right? And everyone would be having the antivirus. So basically antivirus might interfere with the way Cypress executes the test cases, okay? And in that particular case, what you need to do, you need to do some configurations in your antivirus, okay? And in case all of these configurations that I'm showing today doesn't work then you might have to disable antivirus if still it is not working but that is not recommended option disabling antivirus is not at all recommended i do not recommend it try to find out the solution for whatever antivirus you are using and firewall you are using on your machine your system admins in your organization might be able to help you or you can raise a query with cypress or with the antivirus team and they'll help you to find the exact configuration on that particular antivirus that you can do to execute the Cypress safely on a particular machine or server, okay? But for now, if I say, for example, I'm trying to run this, okay? So when we used to go here, let me close this and uh, try to run this in the Chrome browser, okay? Now there'll be some test app, okay? A test application that will be writing test again. Now that particular application needs to be excluded from the security policies so that your Cypress uh, script is able to execute the test against that particular app for example this is the url for your app example.cypress.io okay so with the antivirus that i have if i go ahead and execute i'll get that particular error okay now how can i get rid of this so in uh, the antivirus so i have this kaspersky total security you have to basically so in any antivirus you'll be having these configurations and you can correlate this, right? So you basically go to the network settings. So it, if you're using some different antivirus, go to network settings, try to find where network settings is, and then you will have options for the trusted addresses, okay? So there is trusted applications as well, right? But that is the last thing that you should be doing, okay? I'll cancel it in the trusted address, okay? And be, before that, there is a protection if you go to the first protection there is a web antivirus as well in the web antivirus okay if i go to the advanced settings right here you have this trusted urls okay you can try adding the url of your app in the trusted url but that won't be required as such i'll close it because it is not the case in my antivirus i simply need to go to the network setting and trusted addresses is where i have to add the url okay so I'll simply go ahead and click on add and just copy the URL. Okay. So for example, I'll simply copy this particular URL and paste it here. Okay. And then status is active. Simply click on add and you'll see that it is added here successfully in the trusted address. I'll simply go ahead, save it, save and save. Okay. So I have saved it now. Now if I go back and close this and try to run the test again. So in this case, it should actually go ahead and execute the test case without any issues, right? You'll see that now Cypress is able to execute the test and the page is getting loaded successfully without those errors, okay? So this is the first thing that you should be trying in the network settings of any antivirus that you have. Go to trusted addresses and add the address of your app, okay? in case this doesn't work then go to the trusted application okay so uh, along with that go to trusted application and then in a basically add the location of the cypress app okay wherever the cypress.exe is you can add that location simply click on this add okay and then browse through the location of the cypress so for example in my case this is the location where i have the cypress.exe and then i'll simply go ahead and select file okay so i'll say cypress.exe and then select it and then once you'll select i'll simply go ahead and choose everything here and make it active but make sure you consult this with your system admin because security policy you are overriding the security policy of your antivirus right which is not recommended at all so your organization should be aware of what exactly your tool needs in order to override those security policies so they can guide you better that yes this is fine you can go ahead with this approach or they will suggest some other approach okay but because i'm learning this on my computer on my local machine so i'm free to do uh, these changes okay i'm not disabling the complete antivirus i've sim simply clicked on okay and then click on okay and then you will have the trusted application this is the second but 
in my case i didn't had to add it i by simply adding the trusted address here it worked okay so even if i go ahead in the trusted application and disable it it still worked okay so i'll simply save it you'll see that trusted application is disabled okay and then only trusted address is there it will still work the third thing that you can do is simply going to the production and web antivirus okay in the advanced settings you can add trusted urls here as well okay so you can also try in case that also doesn't work you can simply say okay just the url so for example this particular url all right and then followed by forward slash and then start okay and simply adding it okay so this will basically you know get added click on okay save and save all right but this is required only in case anything doesn't work for you try multiple things right maybe this particular policy works for you okay but in my case i don't had to do it so i'll simply go ahead and delete, delete it for my case the only setting that was required was basically going into the network setting going into the trusted address and adding the address okay now let's go go back here and say for example i want to test a different application okay usually in your project you will be just testing you know one application or there will be you know two three applications but not anything that is over the web but say for example i want to launch google.com all right so let's say google.com or say cypress.io okay so i'll say cypress.io the cypress website okay if i try to visit that particular website so i'll copy this address okay and i'll go ahead and simply replace so i want to visit a new url i'll save it control s okay and then i'll go back here and then you will see that it has displayed this visiting an untrusty website right so now what i'll do is okay i'll go to my antivirus and simply add this cypress.io there okay in the domain okay and simply save and then I, i'll go back try to run again okay still it is giving me error so what i'll do is i'll try to close this because the instance was already initiated so i'll try to reinitiate so i'll open the new instance again of the cypress app and then try to exit on the test case again okay so it is giving me error let me go back close it sometimes you have to try multiple times so for example let me open edge okay and then we'll go back let me see that i have saved it i don't think i have saved it okay so let, yeah it was the issue with the save so i'll go ahead and save it i have saved the security settings now and now it should actually go ahead and work okay. so sometimes you know you might miss saving the settings that you have done and that is also very important so in case it doesn't work then make sure that you go ahead and check that every setting that you have done is actually saved right so now you'll see that in the edge it is running and i actually forgot to close all the windows so you have to save and close all the windows only then this particular setting is going to work okay so you'll see that cypress website has opened okay these are the errors that's a separate thing but then at least that certificate error is not there right so make sure that when you add anything here you click on save here on the antivirus screen also close save and close the main window as well okay that's very very important because i clicked on the save on the first screen but then not clicked on save here and that's where the issue was okay so i've saved it now i can go ahead and close the antivirus screen and then we'll go back and try to execute in the chrome as well so you can see that yes it's working in the chrome as well with just that one particular setting in my antivirus on my local let me execute and you can see the cypress website has been loaded successfully okay so it's getting logged so this is basically how you are going to solve this particular issue simply going to your antivirus okay and then clicking on settings all right network settings and trusted addresses where you have to add in case this adding here doesn't work you can try adding trusted application adding the cypress app there in the trusted application and then the third option in is in the web antivirus in the protection going to advanced settings and then trying adding in the trusted url as well okay for me only adding in the network settings trusted address worked perfectly fine okay and that should be basically it when you are trying to do the configuration but make sure if you are working within the organization when you are doing this sort of configuration your network admin security policies are compliant they are aware that these are the configurations that you need 
and they are fine with the configurations right the last and not recommended option is that if nothing works you simply disable the antivirus that you are using and then it will start working and your script will be launched right this is just for learning purpose right do not disable antivirus this is not recommended at all don't disable antivirus try to figure out the way to find the settings in your particular version of antivirus or uh, whichever antivirus you are using on your machine so that you can go ahead and configure things properly so that a particular application that we are going to launch and work with work but then rest all security um, and uh, threat protection is there for the antivirus okay so that's all for this video this was just a quick video just in case any of you get into or encounter this particular issue uh, then you can go ahead and you just don't get confused that why exactly this is happening this could be very common scenario with most of you because you would be having antivirus so don't get panic try to figure out the ways that i have provided here solve it and then proceed further with the actual cypress learning so that's all for this video i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching